Hi everyone, I'm Emily and thank you for joining us for Seat of Power. Today I'm sitting down with Afghani entrepreneur Roya Mahboob who is going to talk to me about some of her ventures, how she came to be the founder of some really interesting companies, and most importantly, how she's using blockchain technology and Bitcoin to empower women. So let's start from the very beginning. Um, tell me about your first entrepreneurial venture. Well, uh, the first company that I started was Afghan Student Software in Afghanistan in 2010. I started with my sister, youngest sister, Lahem, and then uh, with two other colleagues, we started the, the first uh, tech company that uh, employed the women uh, uh, that they graduated from uh, computer science faculty. And you were very young. You were in your early 20s when this happened. Yeah. And what, what kind of challenges did you come across? Well, uh, working in Afghanistan, is, I mean, as being as a tech CEO female anywhere in the world will introduce you some obstacles, but Afghanistan, a place that the women are not supposed to work outside, the attack against of me was investigating both personally and professionally. And it was very hard at the beginning to get the job from the people because they first, because we were women, they didn't want to work with us. And even if you could bring a client, they often refused to pay for the job that we did for them. And then working, we decided to work for the governments and getting contracts from them. But the problem with the governments was that they didn't pay on time. And the delay would make our work much difficult. And then, so well, there's high level of corruption was exist mm -hmm. and then, and then there was also when you wanted to work with the U.S. military or USID project or with foreign contracts, uh, we had other challenges that Taliban, conservative people didn't like it. And this is because we are women working with them, dishonoring them, and then they started to send threats. And then uh, I left Herat in uh, 2011 and went to the her Kabul to find a different uh, way of the clients, but uh, unfortunately, it was it was a bigger city, but it was more difficult because you face with the mafia of IT industries and all the biggest contracts was uh, uh, they could get it. So then I decided to not rely on the governments, not rely on the those contracts, and I said that why it shouldn't be as a a digital entrepreneur. Why don't you use a technology? So I'm a tech entrepreneur. Why I have to do <laughs> get in the contract? So I, so a friend of mine, sent me a, a link to invite me to LinkedIn. And when I went there, I saw oh, <laughs> I can find a lot of clients here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So I started to send the email. Uh, I mean, my messages for them, and that's how I find um, my first investor there. So you talked, you mentioned briefly an issue with, with payments and being paid on time or being paid safely, and that's been something that has led you to work with Bitcoin. Can you tell me a little bit about when you first heard about Bitcoin and what you thought of it originally? Sure. When I started the um, um, uh, Woman and X was a platform that uh, we allowed the women to write the blogs and uh, upload the videos, and we pay the our user based on the co uh, the quality of the content that they provide for us. And we find up challenges because the number of users get increased, the number of people that we have to pay them. And uh, in Afghanistan, many of the women under 18 they didn't have a bank account, and it's not only under 18. At the in usual, very uh, less number of the women have a bank account unless they work for the government or for the like uh, an institution or international organizations and uh, we had these challenges and then the second challenge is that when you pay the, uh, the people in cash um, you have to bring the money from the bank and I always had to have a couple of people to come with me because there was a thief there was criminal exists and uh, we had other challenges that if the someone's get paid they say the second time is coming and I said they didn't get paid. Mm -hmm. So it's, we had a lot of this kind of the, the challenges. And then we decided to find a way that we can pay them. Uh, we decided to go with the mobile money, but mobile money was well, still expensive. And then uh, we decided to use PayPal, but PayPal didn't work in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And not only in Afghanistan, also we had some user in Pakistan. It wasn't working in Pakistan as well. So then uh, one day my former business partner, Francesco Rulli, he um, I sent me an article about Bitcoins and he says, what do you think about this? And I said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't like, very sure about that. But he keeps sending the articles and everything is, uh, that's come out. It was in 2013. So then one day he says that uh, we have to use this and let's see how it's working. I said, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I have to, uh, actually, I have to do the job in Afghanistan. I have to convince the people to get paid Bitcoin and instead of the cash. And uh, at the beginning was, of course, uh, quite difficult mm -hmm. because people there, we don't have even used the credit card. Many, many of them, they never even saw a credit card. Everything they see, it should be attached and it should be like the cash. Right, so you skipped that step. Yeah. You just went straight from cash to... Bitcoin. Bitcoin, yes. And then, um, so then it was difficult to explain for them. So we decided to use the, uh, like we say, is that, do you know how a system, how it works? And the how a system is, uh, I don't know if you hear about how it's, um, uh, it's a, it's a, it's kind of the payment system of eight centuries and it's still in Afghanistan, I guess 17% of the people still believe right. on Hawala and they trust Hawala more than the bank. So I use that because mm -hmm. uh, that was easier to explain them. But we say that this is a modern and 21st century of the Hawala and it, system. And it worked. It worked much easier. When we, you explain about Hawala, then you say that this is a digital <laughs> way of the Hawala system. People more believe on that, and uh, we started. Uh, that's how we started to pay the users Bitcoin. So how how do you, for people who don't understand that system, how do you describe Bitcoin, and what what is your kind of, you know, thirty second synopsis of how blockchain technology works? Well, uh, we just told them that this is a digital money, and then um, it is money, but it's in digital. But whenever you want it, you can get it cash. We can uh, provide you cash, and uh, for us, um, I mean. For us at the beginning was quite challenging to explain everyone what is that and how it's work. But uh, I think that how all the system and then uh, it's make it all, our words much easier. Mm -hmm. We just explain that this is a 21st century of the Hawale or the digital system of the Hawale. And then um, people when they started to, I mean, especially female, when they start to using it, they feel that they have the, they have the power because they keep it the money in the, the digital wallet. No one knows that they have the money mm -hmm. and they can go anywhere they could keep their monies. And uh, it wasn't that they have to go to the bank and they have to stay in the line and everyone knows that they can there. And uh, they, I think that they feel more uh, empowered when they feel that they are they are control their finance. And that's something I want to talk a little bit more about. A lot of the work that you've done has been empowering women and you've been using this technology to do so. Do you feel like there's there's progress being made? I do know the of course, it's, it has been a lot of progress been made at uh, Science We started to work. But I have to also mention that the platform that we pay the users at the Bitcoin was for 2000, it started 2012, but ended 2014. We started Bitcoins uh, in 2013, end of 2013, but uh, uh, we don't have women uh, platform anymore, but we we started to provide a training for the women to learn about the blockchain, to learn about the bitcoins, and we st we started with Ethereum as well uh, recently, and um, uh, I have a lot of projects that we have to digital some fund my nonprofit organization that we are trying to empowering the women. We started with the financial literacy that to teaching mm -hmm. the women how to manage the money from level of the home to level of entrepreneurship, and this year itself we have 100 women who started their own. Uh, startups in five industries mm. and they're using the uh, their talents and with uh, I mean with very uh, low amount of the money they start their businesses and we have one of the students who just in six months make eight thousand dollars I mean it's a lot of money for Afghani yeah. uh, girls that has only 17 years old and uh, we have another girl she her name is BS baby she's a one year her uh, venture uh, that she started and she has 20 people that work for her um. and she give four thousand dollar for her schools so for giving the micro loans to other students. So, I mean, we have this kind of the students that they are all like doing the amazing things. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why it's made me to thinking to have, to building a new platform that it would be online marketplace for these women so that they can uh, be able to, to do the business, to sell and good, uh, sell and buy the goods. And as well, they learn about the new, um, uh, What's going on in the uh, in the markets and and as well help them to to giving loan to each other. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are going to use again blockchain and Bitcoin would be our uh, currency, one of the, our currency that uh, we're going to use in the, the platform. So it's almost like a, a sense of community building as well because yes. there's there's a sense of trust that that comes with it. Exactly. So so what's next? 
So that that's uh, where we are going to hold the biggest conference in technology, innovation, and entrepreneurship uh, by end of this year in Afghanistan. And uh, we're going to introduce this woman and this uh, the platform that I was talking with you. That is an online marketplace, Afghani uh, marketplace uh, that these women can connect it with other promises that they can sell and buy. And then as well, they can, uh, if they find a client also of Afghanistan, they can easily use the bitcoins for exchange of the money. And as well, it's allowed them to do to using the uh, smart contracts. They can allow them to uh, giving the loan with a small amount of the money and they're using the insurance. So that's all uh, would be great that uh, in this platform for this woman. Well, you're on the forefront of this new technology and it's really, really exciting to watch. And as someone who doesn't use Bitcoin yet or totally understand the concept, um, it's really amazing to see that you're using it to empower women and um, to build new, new tech-driven um, enterprises. So... Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. Absolutely.